Hi, hello, from suburbia in St. Louis. I am currently at my mother's place. I'm spending time with her this week. Uh, I just finished up this week's conversion vlog. Monica's not around to do our little present day update, so I thought I'd bring you guys up to speed. We've already been able to see some family and friends. Uh, we're trying to do that as safely as possible. It's been nice to catch up with a few people already. Uh, I've been doing a lot of updates to the bus, much needed repainting, some new lights, uh, and we got our delinquent dog signed up for professional training uh, ahead. So we're looking forward to that in November and maybe uh, you guys will be able to like, you know, not be attacked by our very lovable dog in the future. It's gonna be great. Um, do you guys want to see an embarrassing uh, high school photo of me? Come on. Here's an assortment of family photos uh, <laughs> at the base of the fireplace. And here's, uh, here's yours truly, Cole, 17. And uh, check out that sweet belt buckle. But yeah, that was me. Crazy. We had a new patron sign up, uh, like right when I was finishing up the vlog this evening, so that made me feel really great. If you guys are interested in supporting the journey, we have all of our support links below. Um, you know, one-time things, monthly basis, um, our t-shirts are below, uh, our Amazon affiliate links are below, so check it out, and thanks for being here. Peace. Hey guys. We already left the house. Good morning. Kinda. Already? It's like 10 o'clock. Well, to them, like usually we're in the house still at the lobby. Oh, yeah, that's true. Headed out to the bus, obviously. Cole's got weapons in hand. Um, Uncle Shane's coming out today, which would be Uncle super Shane. helpful. Um, got a lot to do. My dad was busy in the morning working on his stuff and then he said he could help us during the day so we got our video posted this morning and kind of took our time and now we'll be making our way out there. What's our water filter? It better be smaller than this. It better be one piece. It's pretty big. Really? Yeah, I'll go underneath the sink though. Shit. Yeah. Like, it's his own invention shit. Oh, it's a UV light? Yeah. That's fun. Oh my god. You know what this was? <laughs> I said, is this the UV light? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh god. Jesus, this is like 80 times larger than I thought it was gonna be. It's exactly the size I thought it was Whoa. gonna be. Yeah, apparently this guy's like sold them to like FEMA. And like they're used in third world countries to purify water. Cool. It's the most affordable one that uh, I was able to find. Go ahead and show people the label there up front. <laughs> and where did you hear about this? I saw it on a Schooly Nation forum, I believe. Mm. And uh, just so happens that the company is in Missouri, kind of near uh, Jefferson City. But they ship all over the country. This was $200 and the UV filter specifically kills like bacteria from like and viruses from questionable water and I wanted something where we could potentially use it if we were in a hard spot and needed to fill the fresh water tank and feel safe drinking the water. So we've got these panels stained and cut. Um, we are going to be putting these along the panels where the dome lights are in the bus just to cover up that panel we've done some damage to it having to take it out and put it back in to like run electric behind it and all of that so measure these guys see where the lights go cut the holes and throw them up there you know you made your uh your world premiere today oh you posted a new one today yeah i haven't seen it it was the it's just number three yeah this was uh the coolant fiasco. Monica and I joked, we were like, should I make the thumbnail? My uncle broke our bus. <laughs> Within five minutes of arriving, it was a 
<laughs> Leaking fluid. Yeah. <laughs> the promising start. Well, what do you think we should jump on? I don't think these will um, fit in there, will they? These, these are a little too big. Yeah. I was if, hoping for if, a miniature if version. Only, huh? Yeah, if only. Um, well, I know scooter hitch was a lot for you to do by yourself. It's going to be a lot regardless. Yeah. It um, be a good thing to do in the meantime. Was there another task at all that... Um, I'm trying to work on these things yeah. right now. Uh-huh. You just don't want to do a scooter. Well, I'm just trying to pick and choose my battles right now of what yeah. we could get into. Those are really the only two things we can do right now without kind of without out. Jim's starting guidance on yeah. cabinets. Yeah. <sighs> okay. We'll have more later. Well, Shane, I'm sorry to do this to you. You get through that one? Yeah. You son of a bitch. That was like super quick. I know it was started, but. So that you need bigger holes now? Yeah, so we need to go a little bit bigger with it. Last time I was doing this, it just seemed like I was making no progress. So I started boring out the holes last time, but nothing was finished and. Do you have one of the bolts that you're gonna? Um, I think we do. I can go grab something that's similar. Let me do that. Well, did you drill the hole in this right angle plate? Yeah. I can't remember what we were basing that hole off of right now. Because I think... It's not fitting through that hole. The bolt's not fitting through that hole. So, so we may need to... I mean, it's not slipping through. It might thread through eventually, but... So these are those high-grade bolts that we purchased for this. That looks like it fits. Those aren't slipping through. They aren't slipping through? Well, they're, they're going through your right angle. But, but they're not going through the other holes yet? To clean up that other hole. Let me try it. Just reaming it a little bit. Not big enough, a little small. Let me get you another bit. It should go through really easy now, though. Because this is... This, the short one was... The, wasn't it the short ones that were bolting the... Because those aren't slipping through here. So, do you think we can bore that hole out with this... With this drill? Or do we need to bring those back? Uh, the thing. Yeah, we need, need to do to that. that in there. So we need to drill those so out bigger. So I, I, you know, to be honest with you, Cole, I don't even remember how we had to set up. That Well, that's what I'm running into myself. Was it that we had to do something like this <laughs> to get down onto the... Well, because we were worried about the lip in the back here. Yeah, so we had to drop it down. Possibly. Let's take a look at this again. All right, so we've completely changed up the design of what we're doing with the scooter hitch. It seems like we've just got about, you know, three quarters of an inch, maybe less than that, that we need to fill in order for it to be flush without having to cut the hitch or do extra brackets for it to hang lower. And so we're gonna fill that in with some uh, grade eight uh, washers in order to make it flush. And this should save us a lot of pain and suffering in the long run. All right, so I got hole cut for so dome light. The first one fits, so hopefully the second one fits also. <laughs> Putting my measuring skills or lack thereof to the test. First one, so I did this one upside down. My dad told me to do it the other way on the second one, but um, the light covers wherever they went. Um, so I cut a hole just small enough for this so we could get in and change a light if we had to. Um, but ultimately, just going to go over like that. Here's the semi-finished product. I uh, measured the screws just to make like a pattern out of it because they are visible. We might end up covering them at some point, but this way it looks a little bit more finished. And then we're going to get these lights in.
Okay. okay. Now just put your cover on with those two and that should do it. So we found a really good technique and I'm going to take credit for it even though it was Jim's idea. <laughs> That's not fair. So you get a right angle drill Yeah. and uh, an eight foot two by four yeah. and you put that drill in place and you just lift up on the stud. Oh, okay. So it pushes through. And it pushes for you and then you're just giving upwards momentum. Yeah. Uh, nice. And it ends um, up being a lot easier. <laughs> when it goes through, you feel like you're falling <laughs> through space. <laughs> Help! One more. <laughs> Jim's tools. Oh no. Again. <laughs> Again. The good news is we got all four holes nice. done. Nice. Very nice. Uh, now what? You we put need the to bolts go, in? We need to go purchase some washers. Okay. In Washington. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> Maybe hit 44. Farty far. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, he said it right. <laughs> yeah. He just added the voice. <laughs> These panels for these seats. Yes. Okay, bring, for the underneath. Yeah, we're gonna get those. Yeah. And we need to bring out a nail gun. Okay. And some other stuff. All right. Here's your uh, camera, Mr. Cole. All right. So Shane and my master plan is coming along. <laughs> you can kind of see what we're doing with the washers, is we're filling in the void because the thickness of this bracket it being in the way, and then um, we're gonna go ahead and. Uh, tighten those shortly but we're gonna get the other side uh, situated before that so you can see that I had to take the grinder and cut just a small bit of the bumper out in order to fit the front of the hitch so the bolts would go straight down Got a couple cinder blocks just to take the weight of the hitch off and not to bend the one in place right now. Do we want to tight, uh, not tighten that up yet? No, I think we want to, you know, have a little play. Yeah, just to give it. Until we get that in there. Okay. Then we can just tighten everything up at once. I just bought a new it. Spend a couple thousand just to cruise it. Shawty said she loved me, but it's fresh and never prove it. That's cool. That's pretty far off the ground still. Is it not going straight? That one, yeah. That one hole is off. Quite, quite a bit. That's interesting. Alright, I think Shane was a little hole paranoid there. And I think we ended up figuring it out. I think we were just one hole off and ended up working out. Bam! It's done. Wow, uh, that was like 15 minutes. <laughs> What's next? Well, I feel like the most accomplished on this particular task. I'm interested to see if our muffler like vibrates endlessly against this. Jim, come check it out and say good things about me. Okay. You, uh... <laughs> You got that on? Yeah. That only took like a month to get that on there. I was just telling him, it only took like 15 minutes. So much of the day left. In the, edit, in the edited version, it'll only take like three or four. <laughs> <laughs> So hitch is installed. We're gonna move the bolts around a little bit. So the scooter sits a little bit more evenly on the hitch receiver. We're a little low uh, to the ground. I guess that's why people will cut out holes in their bumpers to 
put the hitch higher, but that would cause all types of issues. I guess we'd be putting the washers instead of underneath, we'd be putting them on top. Anyways, I'm just glad to have this installed right now. All right, while well, Cole and Shane have been working on the scooter hitch, my dad and I are making a box. Um, since our seats sit pretty high, um, we did that to avoid losing space with a wheel well. So we basically bumped up the floor in this space, so it'll be about seven and a half inches um, taller right here. And that way we can use this under space for like storage and whatnot. And we didn't have to lose any foot space in the dinette because it would have been pretty uncomfortable to kick the, um, the wheel well. And I'm trying to score this. I'm gonna let you cut this with that little vibrating okay. saw. I'm just scoring it so it didn't slip. Yeah, so hopefully it will um, not s split the veneer. Okay. Right, so what we're doing here is building a little box for underneath our foot space in the dinette area. Now, this little box we have here. Oops, didn't need that. <laughs> a little extra extra. I think we're going to, while we're at drilling holes, I think we're going to go ahead and drill the hole for the back lock that we talked about. Okay. So Monica, what you got going on here? Got a box. I never got a box. Water here. You're veneering the inside of the drawer? Yeah. Wow. This Whoa. is dedication, we're folks. We're detailed here. So I'm just going to stain the inside of that. This looks like one high quality this drawer is, here. It sure is. I just told her, you know what that would go for if he was making it for a customer for 15, <laughs> custom 20 bucks. Come to yeah, custom materials. Storage unit. Materials, yep. too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, this was the loudest activity of all time, it so really we just was. didn't explain it to you guys at all. <laughs> But so for the sake of the back lock to go cheap and inexpensive, we drilled two extra screws, self-tapping screws into the bottom for support. And then this is, uh, we had to bore that out. This metal is really strong. Yeah. And what we're gonna do is uh, just have a combination lock on this back door. So we're gonna give it a try out here. Or a key lock. Try to get it open. Nice. Can't even budge it. Sweet. It's tight. Cool. Feel much better about having a lock Secure. on there now. Yeah. So Shane and I are feeling really ambitious today. And uh, we started taking off the mirror for the driver's seat. And we're going to bump that over and we're going to try to just get started the uh, backup camera. I'd be shocked if we got it working by the end of this vlog, but we're going to attempt to do some things. So the issue that we're gonna run into is we don't know exactly how to get the monitors powered. Uh, there's a 12 volt power that we're gonna plug in here, but for the rear backup camera, it looks like it needs to be plugged into a battery source, which technically my solar system could be that, um, but there's just a couple things we don't know yet. I hate when I miss Jim admiring my work. It's beautiful. What's the combo? That's all I wanted to hear in life. What's the combination? 26. So I can't say that on the vlog. You, they know too much already now. So this is all backup camera stuff. And we're really confused because directly out of the monitor, there is this little connector. And there is nothing else in the package that goes to that connector. And the instructions are pretty limited on this particular backup camera. So I think I'm gonna have to go to YouTube to get this sorted out. This All right, so this is literally, this is literally about 60 seconds after I just said we may have to save this to a later date. Monica comes in here and finds- Cole's like, I'm really good at puzzles. Cole's like, there's nothing that this plugs into. Shane and I looked at this and we were like, I have no clue. And I was just like, here it is. <laughs> Damn it. 
Shane's like, there's literally a YouTube link on there to show the wiring. So and there's another one. Or wait, Amazon.com. That's what we're going to do. We're going to put this on hold. We've had a really productive day. Shane, thanks for coming out again. Really appreciate the help with the hitch. It looks wonderful. I'll let you know if we have to redo it. Yeah, don't want to kill our <laughs> momentum here. But this, uh, it looks like it's coming together. At least we found the plug thanks to Monica. And I'm going to start cleaning up here. I mean, what, I don't know, whatever you think. It'd be amazing. Let me talk to uh, Jim about materials for the deck. Because he was mentioning it. He said, well, if Cole got the stuff. Yeah. I basically need to find wood for the deck. And he was going to rig something the same as the solar panels. Yeah, we're going to. Brackets. The Unistrut. And then we we're going to make just custom brackets again, like we did for the panels uh, to hold that in place. Yeah. But it'd be amazing if we somehow had that deck done by the bus warming party that'd be ridiculous all right it doesn't seem like monica has uh much of any interest as far as doing the sign off for this video so i'm gonna do this sign off when shane's here uh something to look forward to shane may be back to help with the deck of the uh bus next week before the bus warming party yeah, get that dude in um, and then if you like Shane, go ahead and check out uh, Conversion Episode 3, which I actually just posted today. Obviously, this is backlogged. I'm the one that killed their bus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that's it. So thanks for watching. Peace.